that we go through that we never dealt with or we was, was never addressed prior to us going to prison, catching cases or whatever. Then you take them, uh, them experiences and then you go to prison and you add more trauma, mm. more traumatic experiences on top of that and not focusing on and not getting the help and everything that you need and then you release with all these traumatic experiences mm. Now you it's like saying, all right, now you release, now figure it out. Um, so Ooh. one of the things I adapted to coming out the feds on my last prison trip was counseling, therapy sessions, and things like that to start to understand why I was doing some of the things that I did that led me to prison and how some of the things that I was engaged in while in prison was leading me to keep returning to prison. And it all was based on a lot of uh, traumatic events that I just didn't deal with or, or didn't understand at that point in time. One thing I like about the feds is that they have the psychology department, right? Uh, and I believe that's everywhere in the feds. They always have a psychology department. Yeah, they where got it, yeah. And you can sign up for there and, and get therapy. But I, used to, I, I remember when I used to be like, yo, be like, yo, where you going? You going to the yard? I'm like, nah, I'm going to the psychology department. I need to go see that. They'd be like, what? What the fuck you want? It's like because I needed some, I needed to talk about some things, and I couldn't talk about what what dudes that was locked up in jail because they used to look at me and be like, "Yo, Scott, come on, shut the fuck up." Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. they're looking. You the person. Yeah, look at, you're feeling some stuff. You got the loss of your brother in jail. You got the loss of a father. You got the loss of a of a loved one, and you want to go talk about it because if you talk about it to your peers in prison, they like, "Yo, nigga, what you crying for? Come on, man, check that shit out." Yeah. And so we. That shit adds more mental health to us. We 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 hold it in and we suppress it and we lash out in angry ways. Yeah, either that, either we do it that way, or you're gonna be end up on the the, the pill line. But we just call happy eyes. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. You're running down there taking some type of medicine that in six months you ain't gonna know who you are. You you ain't gonna you're gonna be sitting in your cell. You ain't, we ain't gonna Absolutely. Have an old boy. And you listen. Know, I, and I was one of them, right? Listen, I, I went through a traumatic time on this last bit in the feds. They put me on Prozac. They put me on Remron to go to sleep with. And after like a week, I, I hated the way it made me feel. And I don't suggest this for anyone. Listen, I'm in the mental health uh, field now. And I believe that if you need medication for certain diagnosis, yes, it's going to keep you stable. It's going to keep you in the right mind. I'm all for it, Right. But for me personally, I found that the antidepressants didn't work for me. It made me feel lethargic. It made me feel no energy. I found a different avenue for my mental health, and that was working out in music. You know, you give me some some music and you give me something to work out with, I can set my mind free and I'm, I'm okay, right? But I also learned to find people that I can talk to to process feelings when I'm feeling them instead of acting out. 